Welcome back to Southern RV TV. I'm your host, Barry, and today I've got a special guest here. Michael, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Michael Hoover, Regional Sales Manager for DRV Luxury Suites. I'm excited to be down here. As we talked earlier, our relationship goes back to about 2008. That's right. Um, so it's been a great relationship with DRV and Southern RV, and I'm excited to be here. Awesome. Well, we just took delivery of a brand new 41 RKDB. This is a super residential unit with a whole lot of great features. Michael's going to help us take a look at those. So let's just jump right into it. Come on. Michael, I think it's been about two years since I've done a video on this particular floor plan, and there have been some changes. I'm looking around. This this is the Irish cream colorway. Yes, sir. Yes, I like it a lot. Let's uh, let's get right into this this floor plan because it's pretty wild. This is built for full time living, and man get after it. What, what can you tell me? Yeah, absolutely. So this, this specific floor plan, the 41 RKDB is actually a newer floor plan. We had the 41 RKSB, which was just SB. a rear kitchen. That's correct. Right. Yeah. Um, so since we brought that up, uh, we have this beautiful entertainment center, obviously with a 55 inch TV here in the fireplace. But what's behind this entertainment is really what sets this floor plan apart for DRV. Behind this is going to be our half bath. Uh -huh. Um, so you'll get your full main bath up front with a half bath here, obviously. So when you have guests over, there's plenty of seating space here in the living room, uh, but they don't have to walk through your bedroom or anything to use the bathroom. You have that space here along with your washer and dryer. Excellent, yeah. And th that half bath's easily and conveniently accessible right there from the hallway. Yep. I'm noticing we have these great opposing slides. It really opens this thing up and this is huge. Yeah, yeah, so that's one thing about DRV is since we're a straight line roof, we're able to have these huge slide boxes, obviously being built for full-time living. Uh, a lot of floor plans or, or D other manufacturers have a slanted roof and back so their slides get smaller, everything feels smaller. Well, we want everything to feel bigger. You are living in this full-time. Having those huge slide boxes, we're able to put cabinetry all up above there. Uh, so that way there's plenty of storage space because with full timers, what are they looking for? Storage, storage, storage. That's right. um, and you can see here, since we're up there talking about the cabinetry, we do have gold furnishings now for your grab handles. Um, that's on our Irish cream wood there. You can get black if you wanted it. We have three wood options uh, for DRV. You have the Irish cream and then the Colombian maple all throughout, which is actually this accent color on the slide. That is a Colombian maple, so that can be a, a color all throughout. And then we have kind of our medium, which would be the hazelnut. Excellent. Yeah. I mean, I really dig it. I like, I think we were talking about it right before we started rolling. I feel like there's a lot more LED lights in here. Yeah. And that combined with this white color, this Irish cream, it makes this feel huge and open. All of these windows mm -hmm. that are around this just give it this airy feel. We can see right through it. I can envision this thing having a cross breeze coming through it on a nice yeah. day, you know, if you if you're out boondocking somewhere. Speaking of boondocking, I know we're gonna check it out outside, but this thing's equipped with a generator as well. So it's fully self-contained. Yeah. yeah. One of the things that Jonathan and the team came up with for Southern RV is they, they wanted to stock their unit a little bit different from other dealers across the country. And part of that was they want a 5,500 propane generator on a stock piece. And that's what's on this unit. Along with that, we also do the 2,800 watt inverter, which gives you four six volt batteries. And that gives you the auto start feature. So if you are boondocking, or even if you're parked up to shore power um, and the park lost power, it's gonna auto start that generator to kick on to supply the unit. It's awesome, it's awesome. Now, this thing's an RK, it's a rear kitchen. That's what it's named for. Yeah. Let's check that out. I think it's pretty slick. There is a whole lot of space in Absolutely. there. Absolutely. So, you know, for me, I look around and I'm used to RVs being what, what I have some family members that would refer to as a SBK, a single butt kitchen. 
<laughs> yeah. And this is not a single butt kitchen. This is a chef's kitchen, if you ask me. Yeah. We have a lot of countertop space and this great insignia oven. I mean, that's residential in and of itself. What have we got up here? We've got a convection. Convection microwave, right? absolutely. Not Standard. just a microwave, it's convection. So you can have biscuits going in two places. Absolutely. Man, and storage, storage everywhere. Storage galore. Uh, as we spoke of earlier, everyone's always saying storage, storage, storage. Um, you you alluded to it earlier as far as the counter space in here. That's one thing that sets this floor plan apart. There is plenty of space to prep and prepare your food for when you have guests over. Obviously, this floor plan seats you know for eight people. So if you have friends over and you're wanting to uh, have a good time, maybe you're watching the Super Bowl, you have the little uh, countertop here that maybe you have some nachos and stuff hanging out, there's plenty of space in this rear kitchen. Yeah. And we've got residential fridge. Residential fridge. You're going to have a water hookup on the inside along with an ice maker in the freezer as well. Man, ice and water in the fridge. And behind you, oh my goodness, this is really slick. Oh, that's a satisfying little <laughs> beep as it opens up. But we've got a dishwasher on board. You do. Uh, it's going to be standard on every single DRV that you guys get. Very cool. I dig it. I mean, nobody likes doing dishes at the end of the day. You just throw them in there and be done. So let's push on a little bit further out of this kitchen and into what I would consider, I guess, this is a dining room? I mean, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's in the slide. This is deceptive to me yes. because it doesn't look like much, but there's more going on here than I, I know this from previous DRVs because we've had quite a few over the years. And this is something that you guys have been doing that nobody else is doing. Mm -hmm. Let me see if it's locked. I don't think it's locked. They, they put a little lock on it for transit, but guys, this thing extends out and it comes out further than I thought it would the first time I moved it because it tucks into that buffet there. And we've got two folding chairs. Yeah, it still comes out further. Ah, the leaf. Yeah. Yes. So we have a hidden leaf as well. Man, you can get a lot of people around this table if you wanted to. That's pretty slick. Or you were talking about having buffet space for like a game or mm -hmm. something like that. This is built for entertaining. I mean, we've got spots to seat the family around the TV in the living room and the kitchen and really just kind of have a party in here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, on this, on this slide, one question we do get quite often is about the carpet. This is gonna be the one spot that we do have carpet because this slide actually goes out and it drops down. So underneath you will see the rollers, but the rest of the unit, something new for 2021, is no carpet as far as the main floor goes. From the kitchen to the living room, up in the bedroom and the bathroom, there is no carpet. It's LVT vinyl plank flooring. This is not the uh, linoleum. Each one is hand laid and hand glued. Yeah. Now now, we're talking about entertaining as we're pushing back into this living room. I don't think we noticed it earlier, but this furniture is super cush. And I'm pretty sure this couch, that's not a trifle. That's no. a traditional pullout. Yeah, it's it's actually a queen mattress underneath there that you pull out all the way. So if you have grandchildren or people over that are do want to stay inside the unit, they have a half bath there and they can be sleeping right out here. Excellent. So we can easily sleep four in this unit. No oh, yeah. problem. Oh, yeah. yeah, very cool. Let's go check out the upper deck. Perfect. That is a slick door up to the upper deck. And I'm noticing as we're coming up onto it that we've got this great control center right here. Mm -hmm. So there's all kinds of good things about this. Um, one of the things I really love is that everything is on its own individual rocker switch. That's pretty slick. Yeah, everything, this is pretty much your, your mechanical everything you would need here uh, regarding your inverter, your power management system, your ACs, uh, your sea level tank monitoring system. Uh, everything is going to be located in this compartment along with your uh, breakers, your fuses. Everything is in here that you might need. Excellent. Now you said sea level tank system. That's yeah. the one where we do not put any holes through the tank, right? Correct. So your standard across the industry is, is actually a probe that goes inside of a tank and over time they rust, corrode, get build up, things like that. And it's very inaccurate. Um, so a lot of people are guessing, you know, hey, every three days I need to drain my black tank. This is actually gonna be located on the outside of the tank and it's gonna send in a sonar that will read how full your tank level is. Uh, everything's right here. So you'll be able to press the button to see a percentage of how full that tank level is. So one, well, 100 gallon freshwater tank, if it's 87% full, you have 
87 gallons of fresh water. That's pretty awesome. This is a pretty slick setup, really, all in all. Let's, uh, let's jump past that and hop up into the bedroom up here. I really like the amount of space this up here. Now, at first glance, you know, I think we were, we were joking about it earlier, how yeah. so many people see this vanity slide and say, is that thing all the way out when they're outside? Mm -hmm. And yes, it is. It's not a big slide, but it does wonders for this bedroom because it opens up the foot of the bed immensely to where you can sit up, get dressed, yeah. put your shoes on and not feel like you're in a cramped space. Yeah, I mean, typically, if, if this wasn't here, you could you would imagine this dresser being out to here. So every time you come up the steps, you're there, you're limited to a capacity of, you know, really just a, a foot and a half maybe of, of walking up here. So we put that on about a 10, 12 inch slide, just enough to push it out. Um, no need for a slide topper. You already have your main awning that's out there, um, but it's gonna house everything from your TV to uh, your DVD player. And then obviously eight drawers right there for this floor plan. Awesome. Now. Another thing, I harp on this a lot, but I, I always say it in the videos, I'm six foot three. Yeah. And I'm up here and I can walk under doorways, under the seal. I'm not close to anything. And even if I was, this is a padded ceiling. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's kind of cool. So even right. if I was taller, I'd smack my head, you know, like at least it's not going to hurt. <laughs> but continuing through that, this bedroom has lots of great features. We have power and nightstands on both sides of right. the bed with a little bit of storage in the form of some cabinets down low. Mm -hmm. And everything's on a dimmer, which is pretty cool too. Like we can raise and lower that light temperature with ease. It's, Isn't her reading lights, yeah. you know, um, I, I don't read, but my wife does. And if she wants to read at night, I can turn my light off and she can still read. Yeah, and this is, a, this is an awesome bed. It's a king, right? 72 by 80, that's standard for DRV. Awesome, and it's got storage up underneath. I think we talked about it oh, a little bit ago. Uh, oh. That, that this has those extra chairs. Yeah, the, your extra chairs can be uh, stored in here, maybe the front closet, but there's plenty of space underneath here for whatever you may need. Strut assisted, you're not gonna get this coming down back on you. Right, that's easy to get into and out of. Now, coming out of this bedroom, this bathroom is amazing. It's sweet. Um, this is, it's modeled after one of our, our top floor plans that we've had for years, the Houston. Um, which is, wow, you actually fit inside that thing. I fit inside the shower. And this is, this is, a, this is a big shower. Yeah. I'm digging on the surround. But you were saying this is modeled after the Houston. Yeah, this, this, this whole thing, uh, the way the shower is, the toilet, the dual vanity up here, it's modeled after the Houston floor plan, which has been very successful for us. Um, you know, you have your own medicine cabinets, two mirrors, everything up here is, is thought out, um, gives you a big uh, space along with your front closet up here, which is lined with uh, real cedar wood. So you get that, that real smell, uh, more bug resistant, water resistant, plenty of storage. So in, with the closet and the bathroom, you know, there's plenty of space up here to change and do whatever you need. That's awesome. And this toilet, that's special. <laughs> Special how? I mean, it's a macerator toilet. It's a macerator. That's something that's pretty cool. It's porcelain. It's porcelain. We don't put any plastic toilets in our units. Yes. That's something I take for granted. Um, I, I know I hardly ever talk about it, but it's true. We don't put any plastic toilets in. It, you're getting porcelain for us. That's awesome. I, I mean, I dig on the toilet. I know it's got the, the high-low flush feature mm -hmm. as well, which is something that we don't see in a lot of the other stuff in our industry right now, even in some of the luxury units that we stock here on the lot. So yeah. eh, toilet separates it from the pack a little bit. There you go. Yeah, man. In this closet, like you said, it's huge. It's got lots of storage. It's cedar lined. There's ample power even the drawers have cedar in the bottom of them yeah absolutely that's slick right there man i think that we are just about maxing out the interior of this let's go get into some of the real drv features some of the things that we don't really see by yeah. checking out the outside perfect so we're stepping out mm -hmm. and you and i were talking about this a little bit earlier but drv is a three and a quarter inch sidewalls. Yeah, it's the thickest sidewall in the fifth wheel industry. We have high density wool batten insulation in there. I, I always tell everybody when you're walking inside, 
feel that door jam. I mean, when you really feel it, you, you get a sense of how big three and a quarter inches thick is. Um, and when you're walking in other, other brands and you feel um, their, their sidewalls, you'll notice the difference. Oh yeah, and it makes a difference in a lot of ways. It's not just insulation from the hot and the cold, but I've noticed that there's a sound barrier inside these as well. Like I'm not hearing my neighbors. Yeah, yeah. I when we have inside shows, um, depending on where they're at, one of the best things I like to do is get a customer in, shut this door, and have them listen. How it drowns out the sound because that is a big thing when you're at a campground or a camp resort. Uh, you can hear your neighbors. Yeah. That's pretty slick. We've got the aircraft style steps, solid yep. steps going up and down. And guys, this is full body paint. Yep. No decals. No decals. We're talking about body paint yes. on this. And it's beautiful. I love this tone. I like how it gets lighter up towards the front. It, it kind of takes some of the weight off of such a big unit. So kudos to the graphic designer on that one. Perfect. Yeah. So pushing up a little bit forward. We're under this vanity slide that we yep. mentioned inside and boom, that is some massive storage right there. Yeah, so we have one of the largest storage, basement storage compartments. And really this goes back to our frame, which we haven't touched on just yet, but all our whole upper deck is steel. Everybody else in the industry switches to aluminum. We're using steel all the way through. So this is going to do a few things for us, Barry. One, obviously we talked about the largest storing capacity, but if you can open that door for me right there, you're going to see that all of my tanks are accessible. So that's my black tank up above. That's a 50 gallon black tank, a 75 gallon gray tank. I like to call this my mechanical room. Anything you might need to work on, you're going to have accessibility with a DRV in these two huge sliding doors, which is something you don't see across the industry. Very, very, very slick. It's all nice and tidy too. I love how the furnace is sandwiched between the tanks. Yep. That's going to create some great radiant heat in the winter and keep things from freezing up, even without tank pads. Here's something even better. See that little two inch duct right there? Yeah. That two inch heat duct actually runs and lays behind my all copper water manifold. Ah. So anytime that furnace kicks on, that whole compartment is getting forced heat. Nice, nice. Speaking of that copper manifold, you have access to turn on and off every individual water line in the unit. Correct, so you're gonna have hot and cold separated, so you're not gonna get those hot and cold drops. Um, what's great about it is, say you have a leak at the kitchen sink. Well, in every other fifth wheel, they have a T behind the inlet. So off of that T, you're gonna have one that runs to the back and one's the, one that runs to the front, and off of there, you're gonna have other connections for your bathrooms, your half bath, your washer and dryer, whatever it may be where all of mine's gonna come from here. So if I have a leak at the kitchen sink, I can come down here, isolate the line, the hot and cold for the kitchen sink, but I can still go take a shower. I don't have to shut down my whole unit. Excellent. Now, hopping up. These baggage doors, they're insulated too, aren't they? Absolutely, these are the thickest baggage doors you can get in the industry, and that's gonna be standard on all DRVs. Slam latches? Yep. Awesome, they're satisfying to close. Yeah, for real. yeah make yeah. that sound. Now, this has two big double awnings on it, Yep. which is very nice. It gives us a lot of patio space. And we've got all of our frameless windows up here. Yep. Those are pretty slick. They look great on here. Now, upgrading to, this is a mobile suites, upgrading to the elite suites, you get window silks and a handful of other things too, but we can get the same floor plan with some upgrades, right? Correct, correct. The upgraded Elite Suite package is going to be quartz countertops, full body paint with window silks, fiberglass side skirting. Um, you're gonna get a sleep number bed, Dyson vacuum, the ASA and command system. There's a list of about uh, 10 different things now that make the Elite package. That's pretty slick. And we can order those in really pretty easily. All Absolutely. we gotta do is have your information if you wanna place that kind yep. of order. Now. We got the slide out, so it's kind of tucked up and under there, but you guys' the suspension is oh, yeah. something else. Oh yeah, so this is the Moride independent suspension. So looking at it, we can see that there is no leaf spring going to the front and rear tire. The best example I will give you is, you're at a red light, you make a right turn, and front tire hits that curb. On a leaf spring suspension, if you, if you got out of your truck, that front tire is on that curb, 
that back tire would already be two to three inches off the ground because they're always in constant communication. Well, obviously here, they're completely independent from each other. So that front tire goes up on the curb. Back tire has no clue. It's still sitting on the road uh, until it hits the curb. So imagine going down bumpy, bumpy roads. Uh, they're they're uh, better at absorbing the, the road um, bumps and this will actually allow five inches of travel where leaf spring suspension does about two, two and a half inches. That's pretty slick. And you're gonna have 17 and a half inch Goodyear H-rated tires. Notice I said Goodyear, it's a name we're familiar with. That's right. Um, that's really about a $480 tire that we're putting on there. That's a lot of value. Absolutely. Behind that, you're gonna have Kodiak Automotive disc brakes. It's not the drum brakes that used to be on the 1950 cars. Uh, if you can change your brake pad on your car, you can change your brake pad on this DRB. Awesome. Let's push on back to the back. Uh, as we're going, I noticed this little panel here. I don't think I have to open it to know what that is. That's where our residential fridge was. Absolutely. So you actually have access to it if, in case something were to go wrong. Maybe you're winterizing for the ice maker and then the, and the water lines, you're going to have access to it. That's very cool indeed. And then you guys have just taken advantage of all kinds of extra space here by tucking away small storage spots. As many spaces as we can, right? Yeah. That's reminiscent to me of like a motorhome. Absolutely. So. And then at the back, molded rear cap. So Barry, this is actually something that's brand new for us. Um, obviously we've always had the molded rear cap, but this is a brand new design for 2021. You kind of went with a Cadillac style in the, the brakes. Big lights. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The, the turn lights, um, just a, another texture for DRV. I think it looks very motorhome style. And you're going to notice below there, we have a two inch receiver, 3000 pounds towing, 300 pounds tongue weight, standard on DRVs. With a seven pin. Yeah, absolutely. A seven pin connection. That's awesome. Most of the time we just see the four pin flat. We don't see the full seven pin connector back there. And we've got a ladder that's running up to our fully walkable roof as well. Fully walkable half inch plywood up there. So um, that's a rubber roof, one piece. So it's going to last you a long time. Awesome. Let's check out the off door side. All right. So here at the off door side, yep. we have a few things going on that I think are pretty cool. The first I want to point out is this power cord reel. Yeah, it's a 33 foot, two inch power cord reel. Uh, it's going to make it really easy rolling up that power cord. Yeah, and looking in there, we can see the frame that we talked about a little bit ago as well. Yeah, so we have a 15 inch box tube frame. So that's a six inch tube on a six inch tube on a three inch tube. Industry standard is going to be a 10 or 12 inch I-beam. Um, as you know, we're a heavy unit and a lot of it's going to go to this frame. A linear foot of our frame is going to weigh about 30 pounds where a linear foot of your standard frame is about 10.8 pounds. So we are heavier, but that allows us to do everything we want with the thickest sidewalls, the real wood on the inside cabinets, the countertops, all of that stuff. Um, it really comes off of our foundation. And the cargo carrying capacity too. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's one great thing about living full time. You're always wanting as much carrying capacity. You're always going to have typically more than 3000 pounds, typically around that 3500. Yeah. Now we're at the back. We have one of our sewage ports here, but this is off the kitchen. So this is just a gray tank, right? Yep. It's just a secondary um, um, release for the rear kitchen for yeah. your sink and dishwasher. Now, another thing I've noticed that seems to be new are these great LED marker lights that are up high. Yep, that's something new for 2021. Uh, we switched to all LED, even through the pass-through storage. So moving along, we see that we have a spare tire carrier yep. hidden up under there. The six point level up, there's one of our jacks. Yep. Now you guys are doing something that's a little bit different than a lot of people, you'll kick them out. Yeah, we do them at a five degree angle. The best example I will give you is if I'm standing straight up, my feet are straight down and you push me on the shoulder, first thing I'm doing is I'm stepping like this. Yeah. Well, why not start here? Let's start with a wider base, be more secure. You're gonna notice when you're walking inside my unit, you don't feel your, your fifth wheel moving. Uh, that solid base, the frame, everything we're doing all starts from the ground up. That's super cool. Now, moving forward, Again, I'm noticing you guys are tucking storage away every place you can yep. into the sidewall here. We have another sewage port. This is going to be your main one though, correct? Correct. correct. That's going to be your, your black and your gray up front for your, your main shower, your washer and dryer. We've got a water heater. Yep. 12 here. gallon DSI gas electric. 12 gallons is big. That's a lot of hot water. Correct. And then our main pulls with bypass valves and 
We've even got a little spray port in here for hosing off a dirty dog or a bike or something of that nature. Yeah, and you'll see you have sat one, satellite two, and cable for when you're hooked up at a campground as well. Awesome. Now, we looked at it earlier. Now this is just looking at it from the other side, mm -hmm. but there's that huge pass through storage again. And we have access to our level up as well as that manifold we talked about earlier. Yep, so here's the manifold, individual shutoff valves. Um, your seat level tank monitoring system is in there. You can see the whole house water filtration system that comes standard on all DRVs. Your brake actuator, everything is in here in this mechanical room. Excellent. Now, DRV does some other things that I think is pretty slick. I just opened up this and it's simple little things like having a tray. Yeah. where we can slide out these propane tanks. And those propane tanks, that is not Massive. standard. Those are big. Yeah, these are these are dual 40, so that's 80, 80 pounds of propane on this unit. That's gonna let you stay out for quite some time. That's a lot of cooking. Absolutely, that's, make whatever you want. That's very cool indeed. Easily slides in and out. Moving up to the front, tell me about this. This is not something that I'm seeing standard across the board here. This is all one big piece of fiberglass like a cap. Yeah, so it's gonna go from your front all the way down this under compartment. I mean, you get underneath and you hit that, you're gonna have better rock protection with this 3M paint that we're putting on as well. That is solid. Yeah, awesome. Now, hiding up under here, we have our batteries and it's not just those two. I noticed when we were touring this earlier that we have four. Yeah, uh, with the upgraded inverter, you're gonna get four six volt batteries. Uh, and that inverter is upgraded for what's in this door. Your 5500 uh, Cummins Onan propane generator. Wow, so makes this unit fully self-contained. You could boondock, you could be out for days at a time without being hooked to the grid. Yeah, or, or if you're parked at a campground and the campground were to lose power for some reason, that inverter is gonna auto start this generator to power your unit. Oh, that is a slick feature. Now, and these are getting harder and harder to come by, aren't they? Yeah, it's just one of those uh, COVID things that um, we're not able to find uh, generators uh, as easily as we used to. Well, I'm glad we got one. We got lucky. Absolutely. <laughs> now, pushing up, We've got a great more ride pin box here. Yep. That's gonna help take a lot of chucking out of the situation when we're going down the road and over bumpy roads and whatnot, because yep. of the escutcheon plate and the way that it works moving back and forth inside there. Absolutely, in, in, in conjunction with the suspension, more ride and more ride, those two work together to really make this, the hauling of a DRV smooth. And this front cap. This is new and Brand it's new. awesome. Yeah, um, we've had the same front cap really since 2012 and we wanted something a little bit different, but we wanted to stay true to DRV. Uh, so we kept the profile, did a nice little indentation. We talked earlier about how we're all paint, there's no decals. The only decal really is our logo and that's not a paper decal. As you can see, it's an embossed emblem uh, regarding all the lettering, the logos on the side, the rear. Those are gonna last you a long time. They're not gonna get faded. Um, and then you see the new LED lights on the sides. Uh, those aren't just your, your clear lights that you turn on at night. Those are also gonna be integrated into your turn signals. Turn signals? Yeah. Man, you guys are just loaded with great features on this thing. I'm loving it. Thank you. Guys, thanks so much for joining us to check out this 41 RKDB from DRV. This is a really sweet floor plan. I'm super stoked that we had our rep here with us today. We've had a really long, great relationship with DRV. I mean, you guys have been part of the Southern RV family for years. Yeah, I think I think you and I were talking earlier, I think it goes back to 2008, um, back before this dealership here was even built, right? That's right, yeah. Um, We've always had a great relationship. You guys all have my number. The salespeople have my number. You can call me with any questions. Um, they have a couple units on the lot. They have an LX455 right now, along with a brand new 36. That's right. Um, and then they have two Houstons. And coming. a Manhattan coming. Yeah, two Houstons and a Manhattan. A Manhattan is that two full bath, two bedroom floor plan that is hard to find. So that one's gonna be a hot one. I know people are gonna wanna see it. 
awesome. Well, I'm super excited about it. Guys, if you want to see this DRV for yourself in person, come on down to Southern RV at 324 Industrial Boulevard in McDonough, Georgia. We're right off the highway. It's easy to access just south of Atlanta. If you can't come see us in person, visit us online at southernrv.com or give us a call at 770-477-0552. Until next time, happy, happy camping. camping. Come down. Oh.